Hello, everyone. Thank you all for joining us for today's webinar, Out with the Old and with the New, How Upgrading Your Software Can Transform Your Cemetery. My name is Lauren Hogan, and I'm a Regional Marketing Coordinator here at JMT. We're very excited to have our own Joel Wright lead us in the webinar today. He's one of our Axiom Solutions Consultants here at JMT, and he's going to go everything, over everything here in a moment. Just a couple of housekeeping notes before I turn it over to Joel and Kent. If you have any questions during the webinar today, please go ahead and submit them into the Q&A section as you think of them. We'll save them all until the end of the presentation, but don't hesitate to submit them as they come. Also, just a reminder that we'll send you both some handouts and the recording of today's webinar within 24 hours after it has concluded. And with that, I'll go ahead and turn it over to Joel and Kent to get us started. Thanks, Lauren. Appreciate it. And good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us this morning um, on Cinco de Mayo, nonetheless, which uh, we hope uh, everybody's having a great day so far and will continue to enjoy on a festive day. Um, I personally have uh, drank a whole bunch of coffee this morning, so I'm a little bit caffeinated. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to keep everyone awake and excited about what we have to present today. Uh, before we do get started, I first wanted to introduce Kent Elkins, the National Sales Manager for Axiom. Uh, Kent has been on board for a couple of months now, but he's going to be a pivotal role for um, our client-facing and prospect-facing activities. So, Kent, uh, good morning. Do you want to say a few words? Sure, Joel. Well, thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Hope everybody is having a great day. Uh, I am Ken Elkins. I am new to the software industry. However, I'm not new to the cemetery funeral home industry. I've been in the cemetery funeral home industry for 33 years. And uh, this is really refreshing to see the software that I, I've always craved for over the years, um, working in the cemetery and funeral home industry. And so I, I hope you guys are just as excited as I am once you see it. Joe, take us away. Yeah, thanks, Kent. And uh, yeah, we're, we're excited to have Kent on board with his experience working um, over uh, three decades at a cemetery, uh, knowing the day in the life of the cemetery. Us over here on the software side, we're focused on technology. And so he kind of brings that uh, real world um, perspective to how this solution works. So we're excited and, and we just wanna take the time to introduce them to each of you that joined us. Um, Lauren, I believe we're gonna have some polls as well as we go through this, right? So yeah, how about that? So it just popped up. Um, I'm going to answer, I feel like this is a celebration in itself. Oh, I can't vote. Never mind. So, yeah, if each of you want to cast your vote, and we could also show the results. And so there will be a couple of these as we go through uh, the webinar today. So hopefully each of you saw the poll that came up asking, are you celebrating Cinco de Mayo today? And you can select yes or no. No, but wow, 60, no, 40%, wow. yes. Okay, well, um, it's also Taco Tuesday, uh, so, or no, it's Wednesday, never mind. Wednesday. Weeks flying by. <laughs> yeah, never mind. After, you know, in a special year, Cinco de Mayo lines up on Taco Tuesday. So great. So uh, we all got to do that. Um, I'm going to go on ahead and continue on to our agenda here. So uh, out with the old, in with the new, how transforming. Um, how a cemetery software solution can help transform your operations. Uh, we're excited to talk about this today and uh, we're going to dive into it. But first, I uh, just want to briefly discuss who JMT Consulting is, uh, talk about the current status, new software capabilities, and we'll wrap it up with a Q&A. So uh, who we are, we've been around for 30 years. JMT was founded by Jackie M. Tiso, hence the name JMT, it's her initials. Uh, we were founded in New York, and Jackie uh, then moved to Tennessee. She's right outside of Nashville. Uh, so today we have an operations center in New York, which is still our headquarter. Uh, Jackie's in Nashville, so we have a brick and mortar there. Lauren's in Austin. Kent and I work remotely. I'm in Dallas. He's in Detroit. 
Um, and we also have an Austin, or excuse me, uh, Australia office as well. So we're a global organization. Uh, we have clients all across the world. And, uh, you know, as far as the cemetery management component, it's a product of JMT. And uh, we've been implementing those solutions for 24 years. Uh, it's been award-winning for its growth, its innovation, its technology. And uh, really where we see it heading is, is um, to continue to be a leader into the market. Um, so uh, we always love meeting with each one of you, and we appreciate you taking time out of your day to join us as well and hear what we have to say. Um, basically, we've, we've been in the market. We understand what's going on. Uh, we've heard, you know, we have our ears on the ground, and we understand what's happening uh, for some of you. And we just want to let you know that we're here to assist. You know, some of these uh, vendors out here, one prospect I spoke with uh, told me that they were being held hostage by their software vendor because they're being asked to upgrade their solution to the latest and greatest. And uh, it's been pretty widespread. We've been getting a, getting a lot of that. And so we felt like we should just kind of, from our angle, um, uh, place our position in, in, you know, what's really happening. And Truthfully, uh, them asking for you to upgrade is not a surprise, and it's because it's happening in every organization in any industry um, across the globe. You know, what's happening is this major technology shift where there's technology providers, these publishers of the solution, moving to this SaaS model, which if you don't know, SaaS is a software as a solution, um, or excuse me, software as a service, and um, basically, we're seeing a lot of these publishers moving in that direction, mainly because um, it, it just seems to be a lot easier uh, for them to maintain both their clientele. Um, and, you know, historically, the way software was purchased was in a perpetual license, meaning that you bought the license, you owned it, and each year you paid for maintenance and support. But that data was yours. You own that technology. And what SaaS is, a major shift, is it's a lease agreement for the software. So it's a subscription, basically, just like Netflix, all these other subscription services, your software is now a subscription. So why did that change? And it, it really falls into this software development life cycle and how technology is changing. And, you know, security roles, all these aspects of technology and how it's being used by organizations and people is also changing. And the best way to make updates and enhancements to that is on a subscription model because they can unleash these updates without any complications or any um, you know, issues to you. So it's really security management, the scalability, the technical support, all of these are fundamentals that are leading into this model that software publishers are moving in. And so um, I believe we have another poll, Lauren, if you wanna go ahead and launch that while I continue talking. Um, organizations over the last 20 years have on average maintained their software for six to eight years. Now, mind you, this average is through a lot of different applications, including payroll and some other products that probably aren't so um, essential to an operation. So maybe that, you know, average is, um, you know, skewed a little bit if you were to look at the mean it may be somewhere closer to 10 to 15 years, but truthfully, what we see at JMT with our 30 years of experience is that if a software solution could be running and effective for your organization for 10 years, then that has been a good solution for you. You've gotten your ROI out of that solution. Um, cemeterians, however, what we talk, you know, how we talk to them and, you know, we ask them how long have you had your current system in place for, what we find is that it's been a lot longer than what's average. So we have this poll here, um, you know, obviously each of you work at a cemetery, I'd be interested to see roughly how long has your current system been in place? And I'd love to see the results. Lauren, are we getting some votes? So 71% 10 to 20 years, 14% uh, 20 to 30 years, and a couple um, without a system. So 
Um, let's see, we had seven folks vote, so we appreciate you kind of chiming in, but that 10 to 20 years seems to be about right. Um, that seems pretty accurate. The 20 to 30 years, we've heard a lot of that as well. Um, what we also find is a lot of cemeterians don't have a software system at all. You know, they've kind of uh, been handed over these processes that are paper using lot books and whatnot um, that have been handed down for centuries, you know, because cemeteries have been around for a long time. So it's not too surprising to hear that uh, there's not a system in place at all. So um, these results aren't surprising. Hopefully, they're, I, I don't imagine they'd be surprising to you either. Um, but, you know, it's it's uh, still a lot longer than what we're finding is average. So continuing on here. So we understand why your vendor may be asking you to upgrade, but, you know, these are the things that you're dealing with. Your internal procedures, if you've had a software product for 20 years, your procedures are most likely married to that system, right? Your day-to-day -day activities, how you use a system interacts with how your people actually do their job. So what is this upgrade gonna to do to my existing processes? How is that gonna change how I do my day-to-day -day work? And what implications is this gonna have on my operational budget? Is it gonna impact me fiscally year over year? And what does that impact look like? Maybe I had um, you know, an enhancement or a building that I was gonna do at my cemetery, but now with this software upgrade, it kind of impedes that. Now I need to go back to the board or to the powers that be and kind of readjust whatever my budget may have been. And you know, truthfully, and, and I'm just kind of putting words in your mouth here. I assume each of you are asking yourself these questions, um, but if you're not, you should. Um, you know, am I putting my organization in the best position to succeed by upgrading this system? Is this truthfully worth it? As um, somebody also mentioned to me, taking a judge judge's point of view without reasonable doubt, is this gonna place my organization in the best position to succeed? You know, these questions, each of you are probably um, coming across, you know, your leader, the, everyone's mind at your organization of, man, we got to change and how's that going to impact us? And truthfully, there is a silver lining because you have a lot of options um, for, for what to do here. You know, change could be good. And we think this is a time that you could be creative. You could take the time to define the perfect scenario for your organization. So do a SWOT analysis and understand, you know, take inventory, know what you currently have, and also know what exactly do you want? You know, what exactly would put your cemetery in the best position to succeed? And so uh, this is a time to reflect and see, you know, what is out there and in a dream world, how would technology interact with, with my, my organization? and help improve it. So with that, you know, if you're in this place and if you join today's webinar, we, we, we kind of assume that you are. Um, I think we have another poll here, Lauren. So if you want to go on ahead and launch that and see um, just from, from the group, you know, where are we right now? And, and, you know, even if you wanted to put your name and information, uh, obviously we want to create a community with sanitarians here. We're just here as an education and support. So uh, if you wanna share your name and, and email with other folks here, you can do that in the Q and A. But are you looking for a new software provider uh, is, is a question here. So we'll give it a few minutes and see what everybody says. So quite a few of you are looking for a new solution, a couple aren't, um, which is good. Uh, you know, overwhelmingly, we're finding, you know, if you're in this position and you're being asked to upgrade, uh, ultimately, you, you can definitely do that. Um, but, you know, just speaking about what exists, um, technology trends change and how your operation uh, is using technology uh, can also uh, leverage, you know, what is the right solution for you. And so, uh, kind of going through these slides and talking about things that are happening in the market that we're seeing, we'd be remiss without saying basically what our solution is and what it could provide. And I think a few of folks on this call we have spoken to in the past, and uh, we understand kind of what you're looking for and more or less what our solution can provide. And truthfully, our solution is very scalable. 
Um, and in fact, we're creating a solution that is more for the smaller market uh, that, that is going to be very effective for them as well. But uh, as far as what our solution can do is really embrace technology within your organization because it encompasses all aspects of it. If you were to focus on just what your operation is from a departmental perspective, you would find you have finance, you have sales, you have administration, you have client services, you have grounds. Um, you have a lot of different people that are doing different tasks at your cemetery. And how is technology going to help do their job better? And, and truthfully, we feel like the Axiom solution kind of covers all of those bases because it includes um, a single source of truth for um, basically understanding what inventory you have available, be able to see a visual of that inventory through a mapping solution, put together work orders in a format that your grounds team or whoever uh, could go on ahead and log in for the day and see what they have to do, uh, manage your cemetery records, do away with the dependencies on paper processes, uh, create you know great reporting for your board, for whomever at your organization would want to see a report, and just see something that could truthfully create that digital backing uh, for your cemetery. Because heaven forbid something was to happen at your organization, if you have a lot of paper processes like a tornado, which we just saw north of Dallas uh, two days ago, or a flood, which one of our clients had with Hurricane Sandy, um, paper is extremely risky. And so even if it's just going from paper to something uh, that is digital, we have a solution for that. So um, in, in a better visual look at it and, and seeing everything that Axiom can provide, it truthfully, it's modular, but it, it truthfully encompasses all aspects of the cemetery. So your operations, um, we even have a funeral home module. If you happen to have a funeral home uh, that you manage and operate, uh, we have the expertise on our side uh, of knowing, you know, based on our clients and what they're doing, knowing basically best uh, processes um, for managing specific things. We have finance. Uh, so truthfully, it, it is compatible with all aspects of your organization. And so to dive a little bit deeper in the core fundamentals of the system, our Esri mapping tool is something that we're extremely excited about uh, because it is the, the number one GIS mapping solution in the world. Uh, with everything that's happened in 2020 with COVID, um, all of the you know case tracking and where the hotspots are, we're all done using Esri and it's, it's used with some of the biggest organizations in the world and it's built within our system. So to be able to map your cemetery and see exactly, you know, where specific locations are, understand what's interred already, maybe what's been, you know, paid for, but not interred, so pre-need, uh, knowing what's available, all of those things can be done with, with Axiom. And the best part about it is that our map is intuitive enough to be able to understand what records are there to support it. So as you update, say, a record, let's go on ahead and create a new order. In the map, the coding on a specific location for that new order will, in real time, change. So if you have multiple family salespeople that are looking at your cemetery and figuring out, okay, what's available? Well, if one just sold, that in real time will be updated so you're not selling the same plot twice. So truthfully, a mapping solution that is completely integrated within the record management. I spoke briefly, we have a funeral home module. I won't go too in depth here, but if you own a funeral home and you also own a cemetery, a single source of truth is amazing because you could actually track the life cycle of that individual um, from basically going through the funeral home to the cemetery and you have a single source of truth to see all of those uh, different touching points and how they interact with your organization. So it's a single solution, um, again, kind of maintaining that single record. And with that, we have the cemetery management system, which as you can see is very modular. Clients, people, leads, opportunities, quotes. A lot of our clients, you know, that may be a little bit smaller and, and less 
um, sophisticated, don't necessarily use all of these fields, but truthfully, it could kind of scale with you and you could utilize what pieces of it you want. Um, finance, being able to sell a plot and have that match with your balance sheet, with your accounts receivable, uh, is extremely important. So uh, again, here's all the modules we have, inventory control, just knowing what inventory you have out there. Uh, if you have requisitions or purchase order processes that you need to develop. And all of these are taking into consideration that it's all done in the system. There's no need for paper. So, you know, a new order through the mail merge and Axiom CMS could be completed without having to print it off and get it signed. Um, that order then could be saved to the record and the invoice could be created in finance without any paper crossing people's hands. So it is truly integrated and paperless. Additionally, there's visitor experiences. So if you know you have visitors that come into your cemetery and are interested in either going to um, you know a service that's at your location, uh, then you could have a kiosk uh, in which they could find services for the day, or they could just find a loved one. And so a lot of different tools to really empower um, your staff to make sure that visitors are having the best experience possible. So I'm just going to go through here to see search services of so what's going on at your cemetery for a day, walk the grave technology since Esri is GIS based, it has GPS coordinates. And so we have an integration with Google Maps that you could just click on a grave site and be able to walk to it. So a lot of different tools here. And, um, you know, like we said, if you're being asked to change, um, ultimately we just, we want to be here as a resource and be somebody that you could ask questions, understand what's out there and go through that, uh, you know, go through that decision process of making sure that whichever solution you're going to, you know, make the decision to move with is going to be the best solution for your organization moving forward. So uh, with that, I think I've ran through all the slides here and uh, open to answering any questions that any of you may have. Yeah, don't forget that you can submit any questions through our Q&A and we would love to answer them. Um, it looks like we did have one come in through the chat asking how is the data entered? That's my biggest problem with our present system. Yeah, well, that's a great question. And uh, we would be happy to show that to you. Um, Kent and I could set up a very quick uh, demonstration of our system and show you exactly how it's entered. Um, you know, a lot of what we do for any new client that's coming on board is um, understand what your what sort of input documents you're utilizing today and mimic that basically in a web format uh, to where you're basically inputting the same information, but in a digital form. So you're typing it rather than writing it and it stores that way. But yeah, we could show you basically the way the system looks in a short demonstration that we would love to um, show you, you know, all the different aspects of it. Yeah, I think that leads to a great next question then. What are the next steps after following this webinar? Uh, well, we will follow up with uh, the recording as well as the slides from today. And again, you know, we're here to support you and would love to set up an individual conversation. And, um, you know, in that, we just want to understand more or less what you're doing today, um, you know, how long the system's been in place, um, how you're using the system, what sort of situation are you in, what sort of um, decision requirements need to be, into, uh, be taken into consideration. And then uh, once we understand those things, we, we will um, share our screen and, and go through a brief walkthrough of Axiom and basically show you what it looks like and ask for your feedback and whether or not you think it could be a good fit. And if it's not, uh, we have no hard feelings whatsoever, but at least you got to see what it looks like. And if it is, then uh, we'll continue on from there and, and um, you know, go through a pricing proposal and whatnot and, and see where it leads. Okay, and our next one we have is, is there a crematory module? Uh, there is, absolutely. We have several of our clients that have a 
you know, their own crematory. And so there's workflows and um, different views on, on how uh, you, you can manage that. So absolutely, uh, we have a pretty sophisticated component that manages uh, cremations. And we'd be happy to show you how that looks. Great, and our next question we have is, what does the mapping look like for mausoleums? Is it a grid or does it conform to the building shape? Mm. Yeah, because that's really looking at 2D versus 3D, right? And um, it, is, it is a grid, but yet you could pull up the owners. Um, We'd be, it would take 10 minutes to show you roughly what it looks like. We have a demo that has a mausoleum pre-mapped. And so we could show you what the walls look like. Um, we could get specific with the dimensions of, let's say your vaults in the mausoleum and be able to, you know, have it showing accurately, but it, it it's a 2D image. So it's hard to, um, unless you have something that is like almost like a image of your, of your mausoleum, um, we, we might be able to do something there. But right now in our demo environment, for most of our clients, the grid has been suitable. But if you're looking for something else, we're basically taking a digital map and overlaying it onto something. So if we had images of your mausoleum, we could maybe look at doing something like that, where we could basically um, do the overlay on the actual images of your walls. Okay, we had another question come through here. Um, where is the system based? Is it web-based, server-based, or both? Yeah, great question. And um, it's both. So before cloud computing, Axiom existed. And so there was only server back then. And so uh, we're still able to um, allow somebody to own their own data on their own server. Um, but really, you know, cloud seems to be the way of everything. And we also have a cloud solution as well. And that, you know, basically does away with the uh, IT maintenance and management of your own server. So um, depending on what a client's looking for, we could, we could go down that path and figure out what's best. Great. It looks like that's all the questions we had come through. Uh, Joel and Kent, is there anything that y'all would like to add? Oh, I'd just like to say thank everyone for joining, and uh, we would love to so, uh, show you guys this solution. Definitely. Yeah, I would just say the same, and, and uh, for the 40% of you that are celebrating today, enjoy it, and have a great day, and the other 60% get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, everyone, for joining us today. We will be doing follow-ups, um, so we look forward to speaking with y'all. Bye, everyone. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.